Hello, I'm going to do a tutorial now on um, something else. What is it? If bricks. If bricks are quite cool. If you've used if statements in spreadsheets before, you'll know what it means. It's just a logical exclusion or inclusion of particular um, people or content. Um, and they're in the structure menu if you click on the further arrow. Here they are. Now this one is for mobile devices, so you can specify that if somebody is on um, different device, well, I'll show you it quickly. So you can put this and then, um, so you see how I put that. The idea is with this brick is you put it around the outside of an entire page. So like that, All right, and then you double click the edge and you can choose mobile, tablet, mobile, tablet, doesn't matter and then any device you can choose specific devices should you want to spend the time differentiating between devices um, however then you can have it there so you can when you build a page you can build the same page twice and one is for mobiles and one is for um, uh, for other things what other things um, for computers um, sort of thing but I'm not going to use it um, or I might use it with my classes a little bit but not a lot um, because um, I haven't got the time. Um, right, so if variables, we're going to look at these three. Now, um, you have three different types. This is if something equals something, then do something. This is if a user is a certain type of user, do something. And this one, I'll do this one first, um, because you can't use it. So this is this contents of this are only available if the user is inside school. So that's quite a cool thing. So if they're inside school, you can say, um, come and see me blah 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 but if it's in holiday time or the weekend or go or sorry they're just logging in from outside of school they'll see a different thing so that can be useful um, so it's just alternate content basically right so that's that one um, next I will do this if a variable again you have the two alternate content boxes so you would just go and drag in your um, three columns in here and three columns in here um, and you do the same thing in both um, and then you would um, there's no copy fun function on frog, which is a real shame. You can copy the page, though, I guess, but you can't move. The, you know, if you want to copy something from here to here, it'd be difficult. But maybe you could make a page, and then you could just bring the whole page into a nested component um, and copy that page, and um, if you see what I mean, and bring that in as a nested component, a workaround. It would work. Anyway, so back to the if things. So that's that. So if you double click here you can see you've got is equal to, not equal to, less than, greater than, um, is empty, begins with. So you could start to sort of make interactive kind of content on um, different bits and bots. Um, do you know what I mean? So web pages can become really very, very dynamic, dependent on conditional variables, which you can, which will change day to day. So for example, you could put, um, you could do this based on the temperature field. Um, in or the time of day, for example, so you could put, you know, you can create a field name and pick up the time of day from the clock on the computer or from on the web or somewhere. Um, is equal to anything before six o'clock, you'd have a sunshine. Anything after six o'clock, you'd have a, um, a moon. Uh, do you know what I mean? That kind of thing. Different variables that you can set. You can be as creative as those with those as you wish. Um, the other if block was the user. Now this is quite cool because it means that you can um, make sure that people are only seeing things in for, for your class. So you could put in, uh, you know, for everybody um, they would see um, uh, you have no business here. Um, but for your class, your tutor group or something, they would see something that was only secret to you and them um, or whatever. So you could do that by double clicking on, you see what I did there? I just double click the, out, the outside of this brick and you can go and find your class. So if I want to go and find my tutor group, are tutor groups in here is a question. Do tutor groups go into Sims? So last year I had upper nine, upper four Y. Um, yeah, I could just go and nick them from a class where, do you know what I mean? So I knew, I know that upper four young did geography. So my, only my tutor group from last year would see um, whatever I put in here. When they, when they signed in, everybody else would see um, you know, you have no business here, mind your own business or whatever, um, just to make sure that things stayed private between um, me and the tutor group um, for the things that were just for us, and then we could have things that were public for other people to see. Um, that would be quite cool. Um, so they're the if bricks, uh, really very, very good. Um, obviously anything, if you haven't cottoned onto this yet, anything can go inside 
these two and you can do what you want with them um, and you know you can insert so for example I could go and uh, go in here and um, go and pick up another page and that's kind of how frog works really is that everything goes inside everything else um, so I could go into uh, department drafts, ICT drafts, uh, and go and pick up the ICT website um, and uh, there we go and go and put that page in for example and click on OK and then this would be seen only by Upper Four Young and I just go and put a message inside here otherwise display um, uh, do you know what I mean? nothing to see here preview that it should just say nothing to see here because I am not a member of a for young um, classes aren't actually in the proper classes won't be in until um, uh, Sims goes live on Wednesday the first day of term um, and that's Wednesday the 5th of September 2012 for anyone um, watching this later on um, and yeah and that's that and you'd have to remember to roll this change this every year if you see what I mean because Upper Four Young would always be able to see that and next year Upper Four Young will be a different class they won't be the same people um, okay that's that publish and exit to finish